Maybe Tomorrow by Charlotte Igel, illustrated by Anna Ramirez Gonzala. Elba had a big block. She'd been dragging it around for a long time. It made her walk slowly. It made her think darkly. It was heavy. Norris danced everywhere he went, even uphill. Elba did what she usually did. Along came Norris in a cloud of butterflies. At first, Elba couldn't see him in all that shininess. Hello, I'm Norris, he said. Do you want to go on a picnic? I'm Elba, said Elba. I do not go on picnics. Well, what do you want to do? asked Norris. Sit here with my block. But you're already doing that. I know. Is it fun? Not really, no. What's in it? Norris wanted to know. In it? asked Elba. What do you mean? Well, it's a box, isn't it? Something must be inside it. It's not a box, it's a block, said Elba. Are you sure? asked Norris. Yes, said Elba, prodding it with her umbrella. She always carried one in case it rained. Nora sat next to Elba. I feel something in there, he said. What? asked Elba, who didn't feel a thing. Something sad, said Norris. I think it wants to come out. How? whispered Elba. Um, and the butterflies flitted away. Maybe tomorrow, said Norris, as the sun set. Maybe, said Elba. The next day it was raining. The butterflies looked a little damp. The weather didn't slow down Norris, though. You're making me dizzy, said Elba. It's time for tea, said Norris. They had a good, quiet tea with rain in it. Maybe tomorrow asked Norris. Maybe, said Elba, if tomorrow ever comes. Tomorrow didn't come, but another day today did. It's really time, said Norris, because I want you to come to the ocean with me. Okay, I'll just take my block, said Elba, surprising herself. But it's too heavy, she added, right? Maybe my butterflies and I will help you, said Norris. They did help. It was a very, very long journey. Elba and Norris talked and then didn't talk. I miss little bird, said Elba, as they crested the last hill. She is gone. I miss her too, said Norris. Elba paused. But you didn't know her. No but you are my friend, so I can help you miss her. By the time they got to the shore, Norris knew many things about Little Bird. We watched the moon together, Elba said. She taught me to sing. We were already every apart. We were hardly ever apart. She loved you so much, Nora said. Yes, said Elba as the waves crashed. Some of the butterflies started to fly out toward the horizon. Come back, shouted Elba. It's okay, said Nora. Sometimes we have to let things go. They both sat down to rest on Elba's block, but there wasn't enough room. I think it's smaller, said Elba in amazement, and lighter, definitely agreed Norris. Together they stood and faced the roaring sea. I'll always have my block, you know, said Elba. Yes, maybe you will, said Norris. But I will help you carry it sometimes. 
the two friends stayed by the ocean until the sun set and the view was calm. Some of the butterflies came back. Some flew off forever. The next day was sunny. Do you want to go on a picnic? Norris asked. Yes, said Elba. Maybe tomorrow.